I just want to show you how I bleed brakes when I do it by myself. And I'm sure there's 100,000 guys out there who already know this, but maybe it'll help somebody. So I take the cap off, make sure it's filled all the way up, which we can see that it is. Then I take some brake fluid. I wish I had a clear container for this. Try not to pour it all over the truck. I wish I had a clear bottle for this that I could put it down in, but I just don't, so solo cup it is. And I put a bunch of fluid in there. And then I take a piece of hose and clip onto the end of the brake bleeder. And my little cup. And this hose is kind of really curly, so it might not work perfectly. But I take the hose and suspend it in the cup. Oh, I just had to move the cup. So you can see that the hose is going into the cup. It's fully submerged. And then you want to take a wrench and crack the bleeder screw just a bit. Not enough that fluid will come out around the threads, but just enough so that fluid can come out through the hose. And what that's going to do is push air out through the hose. And with the hose suspended in the fluid, the air bubbles will bubble away. And when I let the brake pedal up, it's going to pull fluid back in here. And after a while of doing that, circulating it, air goes out, air goes out, pulls fluid back in. There's going to be nothing but fluid in the lines, hopefully. So I'm going to get set the camera up right here so you can see the bubbles. And I'm going to go up in the truck and slowly pump the brake. And I'll do it 10 or 15 times so I'm 100% sure that there's no air left in. And before you take the hose out of the fluid, you're going to have to tighten that screw back up again. And now you can move on to the other side. So that's the back done. I just went and did the other side. We already saw it, obviously. With an old vehicle like this, with no proportioning valves, no ABS blocks, all that junk, I would suggest doing the wheel that's farthest away from the master cylinder first to get the main amount of air out of the lines. Then move over to the other side on the rear. Then the passenger side front and then the closest wheel, the driver's side front. That way you're pulling all the air out of the longest lines first, working your way back to the shorter line, which is only gonna have a little bit of air. So if you do this, it's gonna get you really, really close. It might not be a 100% perfect bleed. At the very least, it'll get you moving until you can get a buddy to pump the brake for you or get it to a garage, whatever. But that works really, really well. As long as the hose is suspended in the brake fluid, it's gonna pull fluid back in instead of air. And now, just by doing this, I don't even have the front bled yet. I've got a great brake pedal already. It only goes down a couple inches and then it just completely stops. So that's a, I call that a success for today anyway.